I still have that feeling in my stomach, you know, um, when they ask me if my daughter was Elena Sobleski, and she's critical. She had a ruptured brain aneurysm, and we're airlifting her to um, UI Health. Before my aneurysm erupted, I was working out, and so I went on the fly machine, and all of a sudden, something came over me, kind of like a flash of pink and white, and all of a sudden I couldn't, um, I couldn't lift my arm, my left arm, or my hand. So I was just panicking for a while, and finally one of the managers came over and all I could say was, help me, and then I collapsed. And they asked if we could get there immediately, and I said, I'm five and a half hours away. And they said, you don't have that much time. Um, she's critical, and she's not gonna make it. Just said, dear God, let us get there safe and don't let her pass. I was, my biggest fear was she was gonna pass away and be by herself. UI Health kept in constant contact with us. They would call us every 15, 20 minutes to give us a report and how Elena was doing. And um, there was a um, resident on duty that day and he just, he was so sweet. And I said, could you do me a favor? And he said, yes. I said, would you give her a hug and kiss for me and tell her that I love her? Because I didn't think I was gonna see her alive. And he said, I will do that. And um, so we got to the hospital and I didn't get, we didn't get to see her before she went into surgery. They said they didn't have time. So she was in surgery and the resident came out and he said, I gave her your message. And I would visit her every day at the hospital and I would talk to her and tell her, you're a fighter and you're gonna make it. And she's here today. And I, I said, it's due to the care that she got and the doctor the first time we met Dr. Hanjani um, was after the surgery. We, my husband and I were called to a waiting room. And she's like, well, this, you know, surgery's complete. And it was tough, but she made it. And I said, I'm not gonna let her give up this fight. And she said, I didn't, I won't either. And um, she, she was so supportive. She explained everything to us. And again, then, you know, when we did leave, I said, I, I hope it's okay, but I said, I have to give you a hug because I said, you saved her life. And I said, you... UI Health has been amazing. And I'm so grateful that I got the surgery there because I don't think I would have survived um, without it because not only did I have one brain aneurysm rupture, but I had an additional four more that we found too. The physical state after my coma um, coming out of it was my left arm was still paralyzed and my left um, uh, leg was still paralyzed. I go to the um, YMCA and uh, with my dad or my mom and I walk the gym and I also have a physical therapist and um, a personal trainer that I work with um, just to go back to normalcy again. So um, for other aneurysm survivors, just don't give up. It will get better is my motto. It's going to get better.